What's up, my beautiful divine feminine? My handsome divine masculine, my nieces and nephews. Oscar said, what it do, what it do. He said, Auntie, I'm coming back because I'm tired of looking at the comments telling me how they miss me. So Oscar is back, y'all. Okay. So we're going to just jump straight off into this reading to find out what's going on between you, the person you're thinking about, and the karmic energy. Now, this karmic energy could be your person's ex, somebody they're dealing with, an ex-side piece, side chick, ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, okay, ex-baby mama, ex-husband, or ex-wife. This is the person who's outside of your relationship. Now, for some of you, it could, it could be one of your person's friends. It could be a neighbor that's interfering. We're just going to find out what was the interference that's going on between you and your person. So please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you. It may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax. And let that shit go. So whatever interference or whoever was interfering in your relationship, whoever that your person started avoiding you for, whoever your person pushed you away for, they running from that person now. And they want a second chance with you. See, now they realize that this is this person is not their soulmate. Mm -hmm. They're confused, unsure. Mm -hmm. When you was with this person, they was blocking the emotions from you. They pushed you away. They was ghosting you. Mm -hmm. They left you confused. Maybe this person didn't believe that they were your soulmate. They let the devil fool them. Keeping secrets, hiding shit. And you was loyal to them. They built a stone wall in between you and them. There was a lot of conflict between you, differences. This person tried to do some sort of either manipulative magic. They have a negative mindset or they try to send this type of energy to you and now they want to apologize. They want to apologize for, for bringing you confusion. They want to apologize to, from running for you, from you. They want to apologize. Okay? They want to come back. They want a second chance. But this is the same person that blocked you on their social media. This is the same person that was ghosting you, ran away from you. Somebody out there, you and your person used to run together. You jog together. All of a sudden, this person wants to start running by themselves. Mm -hmm. You two used to run on the beach together. Some of you, you know, um, I, I see somebody even running in water. This person left you confused when it came to this relationship. You didn't know, you know, where you stood with them. They want to apologize to you for this. Now, this could mean this, this person could be escaping you or running away from you because they could have been under some form of witchcraft. They could have an energy that's, that um, was around them that was, you know, making them have a negative mindset when it comes to your relationship. But this person is trying to come back. They want a second chance. Again, it's out here. It just came out. But you don't want to give them a second chance. This is a missed opportunity. They fucked up. This 
This person was chasing. Mm -hmm. This is why they was running away from you because they was chasing somebody else. Now they want to return. Oscar just threw him in the tent. They're getting karma. So tell me more about this energy. Why was this energy avoiding and blocking the collective? Why was this person... Now they can't sleep at night. Because they're thinking about you. Since they, you know, blocked you, they can't sleep. Off balance because you're not giving them the attention you used to. So now that you, you know, you're not trying to be with this person, you're not trying to deal with them. Um, you realize that it brought a lot of conflict to you. There was a lot, a lot of incompatibilities between you and this person. Now they want a second chance. But they have so many secrets. What are the secrets? What are the secrets that this person is hiding from the collective? What are the secrets? What are the secrets? That they're a player? This is a player. And they have a sex addiction. The sex addiction is going to catch them. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Sex addiction again. So this is why this person is a is a, a player because they have a sex addiction. People are extremely attracted to you, Divine Feminine. This person could be an alcoholic. Your growth is a problem for them. Whoever this energy is, they can't sleep at night, right? Because they got a lot of secrets. They've been playing. They're a cheater. Their sex addiction is going to catch them. This person is possibly an a alcoholic, too. And you were loyal to them. And people are, are extremely attracted to you. And while, you know, he, this makes him off balance. Because if people are attracted to you and loving on you and wanting to meet you and know who you are. This throws him off balance. Because that attention that you're getting is the attention that he wants to receive from you. But see, when you tried to give him that attention, he was running away. Looking for looking for love in all the wrong places. Because of his sex addiction. Oxygen just threw him in the tent. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. There's a lot of gossip. Somebody's mad that it's over. They're mad that it's over between you and them. But they was the one that was a player. And they mad because they can't sleep. Now, if they, if they have a sex addiction, apparently everywhere they was going, 
whoever they was with wasn't fulfilling them. And they mad as, that it's over between you and them. Because maybe you you was their, uh, what you say, uh, like if somebody has a, you, you was they, you like cocaine to this person. You're like heroin to this person. Your sex, your energy. And they have an addiction. And see, when apparently when they was with you, they was out trying to find it in other places and other people. So they walked away from you, left you out in the cold. But they was wearing a mask, you know, pretending like they still in a relationship or had you like you was in a relationship. You was in a relationship with them, but they wasn't with you. It was out being a player. Mm -hmm. Now they want a second chance. Why do they want a second chance? Why do they want to re return? Why does this person want to return to the collective? We're going to find out why this person wants to come back to you. Why? Okay, Holy Spirit, can you show me why this person, why do they want to return to the collective after they abandoned them? They could have been trying to throw some evil eye energy at you. They could, they could have, uh, a karmic family, it could be their literal family, a karmic family, someone or people that they call family, it could be a cult. It's four people around this person who they possibly talk to or who they running with and hanging out with. But now he's 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 um he's seeing some things. Okay. He's seeing. So show me the energy of this person, why they were running away from the collective. Why was this person running away from the collective? Why did this person avoid the collective, block them? Because they were throwing energetic attacks at you. Oh, they were throwing energetic attacks at you because they didn't want you to see that they're a player. Okay. Um, what are, what were the what were the energetic attacks? So this could be somebody trying to spy on your money. Whoever this energy is, they have a lot of wisdom and they spend a lot of money on trying to attack you. And the attacks is like how they run, how they ghost you, that, that they'll be able to come back. Okay. They didn't want you to see this. Somebody is going through a lot of chaos and conflict, arguments and disagreements. Some of you, this could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. So yeah, whoever this motherfucker is. They was trying to send conflict into your life. All because they abandoned you and you walked away. That's what like really chaps my hide. These these masculine energies, I mean the feminines too, but the majority of the masculines will walk away from a, a good woman, right? Or choose somebody else over her. And then have the audacity to be mad because she didn't sit around and wait for him. For so if if whatever don't work out with him and the other person, that you'll still be there. You don't deserve that. Who the fuck do they think they are? With that bullshit, they walk away from you, and and I guess they feel like you just not shit to where you're. They're the only person. You see all these motherfucking lights out here. Those are different people. Motherfucker, you ain't the only person out here. Those lights represent different energies that people carry. So if you're looking at those lights, that's that's lights that's around you. Energies that's around you 24 hours a day. At work, at home, at school, at church, while you sleep, 
Um, they're just floating around. So how, who gives this person, you know, the right to believe that you're supposed to sit around and wait for them and all these other motherfuckers is around you? The nerve of some people. So they want to energetically attack you and throw, you know, um, negative forces at you. I guess they want you to feel, you know, so bad to where you're going to need them. So Queen of Cups, he could have been dealing with uh, uh, Aries, I mean, uh, um, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. If she's not throwing it at him, he's throwing it at her, or he's she's throwing it at you. Somebody is, is energetically trying to attack you, possibly him and her. I see a, a, a Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. That could be trying to energetically attack you, Divine Feminine. Now, the feminine energy, this Queen of Cups could be trying to... Yep, and here Divine Feminine just flipped out. She could be a, um, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And your person could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. He's trying to throw something at you. Or he's, he's, he's throwing something to where... You will be blinded where you won't be able to see that he's dealing with the uh, uh, evil uh, water sign. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is, whoever this energy that's throwing something at you, Divine Feminine, you out here, you, you know how to use your intuition. And you see this shit. You're very intuitive. And you're, it's like your finances are protected. Tell me more. This person thought you was going to be flipping out over them. It's like they throwing gutter balls at you in the spiritual realm. They're trying to attack you, but they 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 it's not going nowhere. Because you know how to use your intuition. And you have the clarity. And the understanding that somebody is trying to throw some evil out. See, when I look at this card, this is a code of motherfuckers. This is they got a ring leader. Okay, throwing evil eye at you, mad at you. And this could be your family. This could be your person's family. This could be your ex's family. Your person's ex family is trying to throw, you know, energetic attacks at you, trying to send conflict into your life, or they may be trying to send some energy towards you because they may feel that your person abandoned them for you. Or this could be you're you being abandoned by your person okay so somebody you know they it, it's like this is some bullshit somebody you know for somebody out there your person is energetically trying to throw energetic bombs at you because they they abandoned you and you walked away you didn't sit around and stick and stick around and wait for them to keep on coming and going in your excuse me in your life okay this person is losing money. They wanted you to lose money. Tell me more about this person who's trying to energetically attack the divine feminine. Yeah, somebody, some somebody. This is a person, and they got other people that they're they're getting with. You know, this is not only one person. Whoever this person is, they're around a lot of different people. Okay, and they get with these people and they say negative shit about you. They getting karma. They wanted you to be stuck. They wanted you not to be able to, you know, have no money to spend. They want you to be afraid to spend your own money. Mm -hmm. They wanted you to be stuck. Or they want you to be stuck. Tell me more. I see a lot of wisdom out here. So 
some stuff. This this person was being deceptive, trying to hide the fact to you that they're they're throwing some sort of magic at you. How are they how are they throwing magic? Money, they're trying to throw money, I mean magic towards your money. How are they trying to trying to attack the collective? We know they want you to be stuck and not have no money. They've been plotting and their plots is going in, in reverse. This is somebody they don't have no regrets for what they're doing. Or what they did. Or what they're trying to do. This is somebody who's mad because you're not, you didn't, you know, take whatever it is they was trying to give you. And they're threatened by your abilities. Somebody's last name may be Hunter. Somebody may like to hunt for a living. Yeah, whoever's throwing this at you, they're not spiritually protected. Mm -hmm. Some of these motherfuckers is going to... To old ass libraries and shit. Chanting spells and shit. But see, you're, you're spiritually awakened. You're creative, divine feminine. You know how to use your intuition. You show love to others. And this is somebody who I guess they hate that energy. So they, they take their ass to, a, to a, a bookstore. They go to old bookstores. You know them bookstores that's old. They've been there for years. So that means they got old ass books. And it's witchcraft and all of that shit is, is in the libraries. But it's just behind certain doors you can't get into. Whoever this person is, either they 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 go to some old ass bookstore. They may have they may read a lot of books about um, how to spiritually attack people, witchcraft books, spell books, and all of that shit. For some of you, this is a a, a queen of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that's reading some sort of spell books or chanting some shit. Going to an old ass bookstore. Ancient library shit. Somebody, somebody may also be trying to learn how to use their intuition. Okay. Reading books on some shit. Tell me more. Whoever this energy is that's going to this bookstore, they catch an Uber to this bookstore. Mm -hmm. They catch an Uber, a Lyft, or a taxi or something. This person is, is raging war against you. Tell me about this war that they're raging towards the collective. Okay, so if you feel like things are happening in your house, things are breaking down. You see how this, this dark angel, she's throwing some sort of magic over your house. So she may know where you live. She may drive past your house. She may drive past your house in a fucking Uber or a Lyft. This person is, is so mad that they're renting, they're paying for somebody to drive them past your house. They could drive past and just be speaking negative shit. If you got a nice house or something and they know where you live, they can drive past your house and speak, you know, negative words against your house, your your vehicles. I hope shit fall apart. Um, that's why that bitch microwave ain't working no more. Uh, that's why her refrigerator went out. Um, this, this and that, you know. Um, her toilet stopped up. People do stuff like that. Okay. And this is what somebody is doing. So if you've been, you know, having problems with your pipes in your house or, or your, 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 your toilet getting stopped up, uh, refrigerator and your appliances or something is going out or something going wrong. That's because you got somebody out here in the spiritual world um, sending this shit towards you. 
This is where you need to put salt across your front door. Tie your head up at night. Okay, get yourself an amethyst in a black obsidian. Okay, put that amethyst under your, put them under your pillow at night. Start taking spiritual baths. If you ain't got nothing but a half a cup of salt, pour that half a cup of salt in your bath water and burn you a white candle. You can get a white candle from the 99 cent store. Pour you a half a cup of salt and listen to you some affirmation or some prayers from, from, um, I listen to Fernando Perez, evangelist per Fernando Perez, and go on his website and look at his, his, his prayers against witchcraft and all of them curses and hexes. They really work. Okay. Put the ones on where you can sleep and have him praying over you all night long. I'm telling you, his prayers work. Okay. So I'm going to stop this reading. If this reading resonated with you and auntie helped you out in any old kind of way, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.